I am going to be doing another monthly favourites for you. You really like these, I really like these, I feel like this is us sitting down, having a chat and me telling you all the things I've been loving. The only difference is I have to read the comments to find out what you guys have been loving, but as far as I'm concerned, we're out having a coffee, chatting about what we love. Cool then. First thing I've been really super loving are these brushes. They are from a company called Maestro. I had never heard of this company before, but they were sent to my PO box very kindly. Um, I get sent a lot of different things to my PO box because I have this channel, I talk about beauty, I've had my blog since 2009, so a lot of companies kind of see it as their way to be like, you might like my products, you might not. And I felt them and I instantly fell in love. I am a serial brush hoarder slash collector, is that the same thing? Slightly different. And I have used a lot of different brushes. There are certainly brushes that for me stand out above the rest and when I had my hands on these and I felt them and I used them, I decided these were my new favourite brushes ever. I firstly love the design, they're really super long handles. At first I thought that that would be odd because you're, I'm so used to kind of holding them kind of here I guess and I didn't really see the point of having that but I really enjoyed actually using them on the end because it makes you have slightly um, lighter touch. If you've got it here you're a lot more heavy. If you have it at the end it's a lot lighter and I've been trying to apply my makeup a little bit more delicately because I feel like it's the most long lasting and most effective way of doing it and these have really helped. The brushes are super soft, they're amazing. Um, these are two of my favourites at the moment. This one I've been using for... You are right there, Alfie? <laughs> this one I've been using for blusher because it's really small but it's also very fluffy so it's perfect for the apples of your cheeks. This one I've been using for contour because again, really narrow and perfect. I just, I really love them. They feel like amazing quality. Just, oh, love, love, love. The next thing I've been loving is this Kiko blusher in the shade uh, Wild Mauve. This is, I absolutely love the packaging of this. I've seen mixed opinions and reviews on this packaging. A lot of people think it's too big, it's too bulky, and it's very unnecessary. I have to agree to some extent, but I still love it, I don't care. <laughs> it takes up a lot of room in my makeup drawer, but I feel like it deserves its space. It's a baked blush and it has three different colours that all blend together. I've got it on today, I've been wearing it every single day for like the past week and a half and I just think it's beautiful. It also has a big mirror in it um, and it's kind of magnetic. Okay, the next thing I've really been loving, I ordered from John Lewis, I think. I, I was doing like a bit of a house shop and then I went on to their um, makeup section because I forget they do makeup as well. And I ordered this, which is the Guerlain or Guerlain, Guerlain or Guerlain, um, Terracotta Bronzer. I love Guerlain bronzers. I think they're amazing. Um, for me, they have worked the best. I find that they don't go patchy. I find that they're very easy to blend. And I also love the different color tones. They had this range um, of uh, bronzers with a slight kind of blusher on the side. Um, kind of going by your hair color, I think. I think that's what it was. So I selected um, natural healthy glow, oh, 01 Claire Brunette. So I picked this one up. This is the perfect shade for bronzer for me. Right now I'm quite pale, I am about to go on holiday so that is gonna change. So if you have fairer skin and you find it quite difficult to find a bronzer that kind of complements your complexion, I feel like this would be a winner. And this is the brunette's one, I think the blonde's one was even lighter, so definitely check those out. Guerlain is a little bit more pricey, um, but I just find the quality of these amazing and I've used Guerlain bronzers for a really long time. Beautiful. On the same category of kind of face powders, I have a lot of face powders in this, in this favourites. I am loving the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. Firstly, the packaging is amazing. Charlotte Tilbury's products are amazing. I love all of them, to be honest. I think her lipsticks are amazing quality. Some of my favorite lipsticks are her lipsticks. I use them all the time. Um, and I did a shoot recently where the makeup artist was using this on me. 
and I was like, oh, that's amazing. Why well, don't I have that yet? So I ordered it and now I am using it a lot. It basically has the sculpting shade on one side and the highlighting shade on the other side. So you can kind of take your contour brush and stick that in there and away you go. And it looks awesome. I've also got that on today and the highlighter is very, very pretty. I've been loving that. Thank you, Charlotte Tilbury, for your endless supply of amazing makeup products. What do you mean, do I like your stubble? Yeah, it looks great. I like your stubble. <laughs> Alfie's, Alfie's stubble is part of my favourites. <laughs> Next thing I've been loving is Ciarte, I think that's how you say it, Ciarte London Makeup. They are mostly known for their nail polish and nail products, but more recently they've kind of ventured into the makeup side of things. Um, and at first I was a little bit like, oh, I don't know, like I haven't really seen anything that I really like. And then they came out with these and I am in love. I used this one, which is Collins Ave. I used that in my pre previous, not previous, but previous before that. Second to last video, no, yes. I used this in a recent video where I did my makeup and it is a loose, pigment eyeshadow um, and they're just beautiful colours, lovely consistency, oh my goodness, they're just so beautiful. They last really well, they blend nicely, they look amazing um, and today I have on Lincoln Road, so that's another that I really love. They actually come in the top with a little primer and then you've got the loose powder underneath it's they're just beautiful I need to check out what other colors they've got but so far it's kind of like the goldy ones that I've been reaching for and loving okay this jumpsuit keeps revealing my bra I am gonna show you this which I previously bought in a haul video and I told you guys I would report back if I loved it so I'm reporting back because I love it it's definitely something different it's not something I use every day but it is something that I feel like has filled a void in my makeup collection and it is brow drama by Maybelline it's a base it's basically a sculpting brow mascara and it has this amazing wand with a really round tip the one that I found most useful is medium brown so it has a slight colour to it and the days that I like using this are the days where I have really natural makeup and I don't want to fill in my brow very strongly um, because sometimes I feel like I'll fill my brows in quite strong and I've got a very neutral eye and I've not really got a lot else going on on my face so it can look quite stark um, but with this it gives a really natural kind of it gives a really natural look to the eyebrows. They look like they've been done and they look like they are like perfectly preened but they're not like super filled in if that makes any sense. It's like a natural preened eyebrow which I really really like and it holds amazingly well so I have really in been enjoying this. Um, I also have the transparent one as well for days where I do want to fill in my brows but I also want to give the hairs a little bit more of, more of like a structure. Do you know what I mean? Structured brows. I kind of wish I had this when I was in school, when I wasn't sure what I was doing with my eyebrows and I needed something to make them look more like eyebrows, if that makes any sense. I wish I'd had this. So if you're kind of going through that stage where you're like, I kind of want to fill my brows in, but I don't, and I kind of want to have a bit more of a brow routine, but I don't, I feel like this would be the perfect product for you and it's not scary I mean start with the transparent if that makes you feel better but it's really not scary you don't put it on your eyebrow and like loads of product comes out you can really kind of guide the brush um, and uh, yeah I just think this is amazing speaking of brows I've also been loving this for those times when I want to fill in my brows a bit more and this landed in my PO box also um, and I was like oh this looks good because this is a brand that I've featured before one of their blushes is one of my all-time favorite br blushes and it is it, I think it's called me M-I-I -I, um, and it's the precision brow detailer in impeccably medium this is a teeny tiny little pencil basically um, like so I like it because it's teeny tiny and it's a really good match for my brow colour. Also lasts 
a really long time and because it's so small you can really draw in those kind of hair like um, lines um, so I have been really liking that. Normally I like to fill my brows in with eyeshadow um, like a matte eyeshadow not like a sparkly green one um, and this has taken over at the moment so I've been using this every single day I filled in my brows. Love it, love it. Okay and last but not least lipstick. As you know I've been loving the nude, I don't know why I paused for so long. As you know I have been loving pinky nudes so I have two favourites, one is high end and one is drugstore. I love both of them equally which just goes to show you don't need to spend a lot of money in order to have something you love. I am just an addict. The first one is Tom Ford, is a Tom Ford lipstick. This is your cream of the crop high end lipstick. If you want to treat yourself or you want to get someone a present this is the perfect thing to go for. I went online and I looked up a few reviews because before I spent the money on it I wanted to know what colours people recommended and if the lipstick was any good and all the reviews that I saw were mostly raving about this, this kind of lipstick. The one I've been reaching for the most is this one. It's a beautiful pink and it is in the colour Spanish Pink and I have it on today. I'll put a little bit more on actually. There we go. It's so beautiful, it has a really lovely taste, it's kind of that vanilla-y kind of MAC lipstick taste. Um, the actual lipstick wears really very well, as it should for that amount of money, um, and I just love it. I just, I had to put it in my favourites because I have been wearing it a lot. Alternatively, if you don't have the budget for a Tom Ford lipstick, or you want something very similar, this is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in number 38. Um, and it is beautiful. I did. I wore this in my uh, spring summer makeup look video. Um, they are pretty similar. Let's be honest. There they are side by side. This one just has a bit more of a mauve tone to it, and this one's slightly more pink. But you could get away with not knowing the difference between the two, and I think that it's a very good dupe for that. But. Uh, both of these colours I've been wearing a lot and loving, so I thought I should let you know. Okay, so I just went to my shower and realised I have two more favourites. Um, easy to forget because I'm using them like most days. <laughs> uh, the first one is OGX Shampoo and Conditioner. This is coconut water shampoo and conditioner. Um, drench your dehydrated strands in this ultralight blend of weightless hydrating coconut water combined with nutrient rich coconut oil to transform dry parched hair into silky shiny perfection. I've been using a number of different shampoos at the moment but I feel like I always reach for these a little bit more because I love how it makes my hair feel. It feels exactly how, it's, how it says, it feels exactly how it says. Really silky and very healthy. Um, and I just love it. They're like super cheap. You can get them in most supermarkets, in Boots, in Superdrug. Um, OGX, amazing. And lots of different scents and formulations to, to try out. Okay, the last product was on a viewer's recommendation on Twitter. I don't remember, I think I was having a bit of a Twitter spree and just replying to people and someone said, have you tried Soap and Glory whipped clean on your legs for shaving? Or something like that, I can't remember. And I was like, no I haven't. I've seen it and I have the body lotion that goes alongside this, the same scent, but I've not actually tried this in the shower. So it's a shower butter. I've used foams and I've used gels, um, but I've never used a shower butter, but I love the concept of this. Um, it's in the scent pistachio, almond and sweet vanilla. Um, so it is a very sweet scent, but I really like it. And it leaves my skin feeling super moisturised, super hydrated. And as the lovely girl who told me on Twitter said, it is really good for shaving your legs. So, whipped clean by Soap and Glory. I'm sure Alfie's also been loving that in the shower. Okay, so that's everything I have been loving this month. As always, let me know what you've been loving in the comments or what you think I might like. Um, although that's very dangerous for my bank. Next week I'm going to be on holiday, so I'm going to film that video after this one. And don't be shocked or scared or worried that I am not online very much. I'll be soaking in the sun like this with SPF, of course. Love you very much. Bye! You're just so cool. I'm doing I, a thumbnail! I wish I was you. Oh, Alfie's vlogging, by but the way. I'm that going does now. Prove Bye. That does